Okay, in the previous video we talked about ABGs and we talked about uh, the reason we draw them and what the test is actually done for. Um, and we talked about uh, the main values, and again that's the pH, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, uh, the bicarbonate level, and the partial pressure. Um, there should be a P in front of, in front of this, so let me add that on there. Um, okay, and the partial pressure of oxygen. So, um, I just came up with some some values here and in this video what I want to do is um, show you how we can determine if it's metabolic or respiratory acidosis or alkalosis that we're looking at if indeed it's any of them. Um, so what we would do, uh, we're going to look at the results and we're going to go through them one at a time and we're going to start with the pH and we start with the pH because the pH can tell us right away if it's in an, an acidic or an alkaline state um, which tells us if it's uh, an, in an acidosis or in an and alkalosis. So uh, let's start with the pH and remember from from the previous video um, what our normal values are and we have 7.35 to 7.45 as being normal for a pH so 7.28 is decreased um, so that puts us in an acidic state so that tells us that it's an acidosis. Now our next step is to determine if it's metabolic or if it's respiratory and we figure that out by continuing to go through these. Um, we look at the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide, which is 36. Remember, uh, normal is 35 to 45, so that's fine. That's normal. Um, a bicarbonate level, a normal bicarb is 22 to 26, so this is increased. Um, oh, let me put it over here. Okay, so we have an increased bicarbonate level and we have a decreased pH so far. And then we're going to look at the partial pressure of oxygen. Remember, normal partial pressure of oxygen is 80 to 100. So uh, now what we do is we look at um, our abnormal values and we figure out what that means. So we're looking at a pH that is decreased. And we're looking at a bicarbonate level. that is increased. okay. And what that tells us is that it's respiratory. And you're probably wondering why. Um, a simple way to to be able to figure these these types of problems out is just to re remember this. Um, let me put both of them on here because you're probably asking, well what if it's metabolic? So let's do the same thing. And again, we're going to look at the pH, but this time we're not going to look at the bicarbonate level. We're going to look at the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. And if these two have a direct or a proportional relationship, it makes it metabolic. So this, what you see on the screen right now is what, what you just need to memorize. And the way I always remember it is um, the respiratory one's easy to me um, because the, the arrows are going in different ways, kind of like when you breathe, you breathe in and you breathe out. Um, so that, that part's simple, and then you just have to remember that it's the bicarbonate that you're comparing to the pH. Um, and then in the metabolic, you just remember that you're comparing the carbon dioxide to the pH, but they have to be going in the same direction. So uh, I should, uh, and maybe I'll make another video with some more examples, um, but, uh, and maybe we didn't finish this, um, well, we did, but maybe I didn't say it, um, what we came up here is, uh, is respiratory acidosis, because we came up with respiratory, because the pH and the bicarbonate um, are going in opposite directions, which means it's respiratory, and we already... Um, we already determined that it's acidosis because the pH is de decreased. So um, let's just change these numbers around a little bit. Um, and let's say we keep the same pH. Um, let's say our, our bicarbonate level um, instead of 31 was, let's just say it was 24. So that's normal. And let's say our, our partial pressure of carbon dioxide instead of being 36, let's say it was 26. Okay, so now if we go through, and let me find a new color here. Um, now if we go through, through, we look at every value, and we notice that the pH is decreased, and the, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is increased. 
um, we had 24 for the bicarb, so that's normal, and then 91 for the partial pressure of oxygen, so that's normal. So our two abnormal ones in this case is the pH and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So if we come down here, we had the pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, they're going in the same direction, so that makes it metabolic. Um, and let's see what we had for, it must be acidosis because we didn't change it, yep. So um, we had 7.28 as our pH, which says it's acidic because these two are going in the same direction. We determined it was metabolic, so it's metabolic acidosis. Um, unfortunately, it gets much more complicated than this once you start getting into compensation and that type of thing, um, and maybe I'll make a 